Welcome back to this channel. I am the Complex Analyzer, your favorite maths tutor on YouTube. Today we are kicking off with something very important, an introduction to MTH101 Algebra and Trigonometry, also called General Mathematics 1 or Elementary Mathematics 1. It is a course that is taken by 100 level students in Nigeria universities, all right? Uniben, Unilag, UI, FUSI, and so on. This is one of the most fundamental mathematics course you will take in Nigeria universities. Uh, whether you are studying maths, physics, chemistry, geology, engineering, any engineering, medicine now, they take maths 101 in Uniben and other schools as well. Okay, uh, other courses in BMS, basic medical sciences, radiography, physiotherapy, pharmacy as well. They also take the course. So almost all science courses in Uniben in Nigeria universities take Mass 101. Architecture, quantity surveying, okay, depending on the university in question. But it's a fundamental math course that students in 100 level take, and most times it's compulsory. So understanding this course very well, it's not just about passing the exam, the exam yeah, or making an A or a B, but it's actually necessary, it's a necessity. Because the knowledge is actually important, not just for 100 level alone. Yeah, when I say not just for 100 level alone, I mean for students, let's say in engineering, who will probably do engineering mathematics later in their 200 level, 300 level, 400 level as well. But for those in medicine, uh, medical sciences, or life sciences, they may or may not do maths after 100 level, depending on the university in question. Okay, so for those who will do it, the course is actually a foundation course that actually prepares the student's mind in elementary algebra. Alright, so in this video, I'll be showing you the course content, the outlines of this MTH 101, what you will expect as you begin the study of this course. And I'll say a few things about them. Alright, so just keep watching. I studied industrial mathematics in Uniben. Right, and I did MTH 101 in first semester, that's algebra and trigonometry. The same first semester, I did MTH 102 calculus, that's elementary mathematics 2. In my second semester, 100 level, I did MTH 123 and MTH 125. MTH 123 is vectors, uh, geometry, and statistics. Then MTH 125 is purely differential equations. And dynamics, and I actually did well in those courses. Yes, I enjoyed studying them. Now that's what we're talking about. Just take note; those courses have actually changed. The codes have changed. We have MTH 101, 102, 103, and 104 now in 100 level mathematics. Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you the course content of MTH 101. So maybe there will be a video for 102 later. Yes, and 103 subsequently, depending on. The demand. So, if you are a hundred level student in any of the Nigerian university currently offering Maths 101 in hundred level first semester, this video is for you. So, share this video to your friends, your classmates as well, and let this video go viral, reaching as many thousands of students that we have in Nigerian universities. All right, in hundred level particularly. Let's go now. The first topic, it is usually the first topic, yes, in most Smart 101 test. Now, take note, the way I will arrange my content on the board may not be exactly the same way it is written in your book, like the course material for Smart 101. Okay. One of the first topics, if not the first topic that we normally take in algebra and trigonometry in Nigerian universities in Smart 101 is real number system inequalities and mathematical induction so in this real number we talk about types of numbers uh, real number rational numbers irrational numbers this is the foundation where we will talk about the different types of number set that we have in math okay so it is necessary to actually understand the concept of real numbers so that when we begin to talk about maybe concept in binary operation if i say a a comma b is a member of Z plus. So you know what I'm talking about. For example, A and B are members of the set of positive integers. That's what this means. So it is 
one of the first uh, elements in the first topics. Inequalities as well. We talk about linear inequalities in one variable. Okay. Sometimes I think some uh, schools, some departments in some schools have two variables. Yes. But some treat one variable, one variable inequality. So, but all the same, we have inequality, linear inequalities. We have rational inequalities. We have quadratic inequalities also. Uh, and we have modulus inequalities. So, that's for inequalities. Then we have the almighty mathematical induction. Wow. This induction is actually very, it's easy, but it wasn't really easy then. Yeah, you know, as a fresher who just got into school, they find some topics or some content or some aspects very difficult. But if you're able to go through, like, you're able to study in details, gather materials, go online, make researches, study very hard, it becomes easy. There are different things involved in this mathematical induction, like proof involving a formula. Yes, you can prove a formula if it's uh, correct mathematically using induction, mathematical induction. This, this channel has good videos on these topics. We have videos on inequalities and mathematical induction. So this will be the next thing. Just keep watching. Then the second topic, which may not always be the second topic, but I, like I said, the way I'm arranging them may not be exactly the way it is arranged in your own course work, but they should be 80% similar. Here goes the second topic on my list. Sequence, series, and tests for convergence. Here we'll be talking about types of sequences, what sequence are, the nth term of a sequence, be it arithmetic, geometric. You know, in secondary school, we were taught uh, sequence and series, and our teacher taught us, okay, not, not, let me not blame our teachers, actually. Yeah, we were taught AP and GP, arithmetic progression, aka linear sequence, and um, geometric progression, aka exponential sequence. But Beyond secondary school, we have other types of sequences, such as the harmonic sequence. Okay, you will meet irregular sequences in hundred level, max one or one, algebra and trigonometry. Yes, that's how it is. So series as well, sequence as well, they are there. The difference between a sequence and a series. Of course, I have explained that in my videos on in this uh, playlist on max one or one. Then the most interesting part of it, which actually is a new concept to everyone in university. In 100 level is the test for convergence and divergence. I think I should have included that. Test for convergence and divergence. When does a series converge and when does it diverge? How do we identify that this sequence diverges or it converges? The various, the various are tests for different sequences that diverge and converge. Let's say the P series test, the Allen Bart ratio test, the geometric series test, the Curtis integral test, um, the root test, the rabies test, and so on. So, different tests that work for different sequences. All of them here, sequence series, test for convergence and divergence. And we also have um, the McClory series and the Taylor series. Yes, we have them also in the sequence and series. I call this set theory and application. All right, this is about sets. We did set in SS1, yes, in secondary school, right? Power set, subset, universal set, um, null set or empty set, single team, um, all of that. But in algebra and trigonometry, one hundred one, one of the topics that is treated is set theory. Set theory, I mean the types of sets, the meaning of sets, cardinality of a set, all those fundamental terms, because set has a lot of fundamental terms. A lot of basic ideas that is needed to be able to do the application. So in the application, we'll now talk about the use of Venn diagrams. Here goes the fourth. Quadratics. Quadratic equation. I'm grouping them. Partial fraction. and the binomial theory yes a very interesting part of math 101 also we have quadratics partial fractions and um the binomial theory 
So we'll be doing quadratic equation as well. You know, this mass 101 algebra trigonometry is kind of uh, some of the uh, things we talked about here, they are from secondary school. Okay. So, but here we build upon those terms. We add to it and remove anything that is not necessary if there is anything to be removed in that case. Like partial fraction, it is, I think it's studied in SS3 for the mathematics. But most of us, for me, I didn't go to SS3. So I don't know about you. So this is, I studied this for the first time in 100 level. And binomials as well. So that's it. Quadratic equation, how to factorize by, yes, to factorize the quadratic equation, the use of geometry formula, completing of the squares, then partial fractions, the different types, how to decompose a compound fraction into uh, its compound, its, sorry, how to decompose a compound fraction into its component partial fractions. And we have different types fractions with linear factors. Fractions with repeated factors at the denominator, irreducible quadratic factors at the denominator. All right, and um, improper fractions. So those are the things that we'll be talking about under partial fractions. And then binomials. How to expand the binomial expression with positive powers, negative powers, fractional powers as well. Yes, so all of them will be talked about under binomials. So we have videos on them already there in this channel you can watch all right i'll be updating my videos subsequently creating more as the need arises then we have trigonometry on that trigonometry we'll talk about circular measure radial measure angles in quadrant complementary angles how to solve trigonometric equations the elementary ideas behind second, cosecant, tangent, cotangent, and so on. They will talk about trigonometric identities like sine squared x plus cos squared x equal to 1, tan x equal to sine x over cos x. All those things, talk about them in trigonometry. Then how to solve trigonometric equations. Very important also. It is also, it is also talked about in trigonometry. All right. And maybe a few things based on the uh, department and the university in question that is uh, giving this course to the student to offer. Also, we, I think this is always the last, the number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have complex numbers. Yes, this is mostly the last topic in uh, algebra and trigonometry in our textbooks, complex numbers. In complex numbers, we talk about i. Yeah. In secondary school, you were told that the square root of minus 4 probably does not exist or is undefined. If you punch your calculator, if you do root minus 4, it will show you marked error. But in real life, <laughs> it's actually possible. So this is a different set of numbers that we'll talk about here. This is actually 2i or i2. That's what it will give. So in my in my video on calculus on uh, complex numbers, I've talked about all of this extensively. So in remember I said the real number system, we talk about the sort of real numbers. That's arrow. Real numbers arrow. In complex numbers, we talk about the sort of complex numbers. And that's C. The symbol for complex numbers. I should be drawing this well, sorry. C. We talk about the algebra of complex numbers, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide complex numbers. And then we talk about polar form, rectangular form of complex numbers. How to convert a complex number from rectangular form to polar form and vice versa. And also we talk about the Euler form of complex numbers, the Euler form of complex numbers, or the exponential form of complex numbers. And we talk about a Gantt diagram. How to represent a complex number on the complex plane called the Argand diagram. And um, complex equations as well. Also, under complex numbers, we talk about the roots of a complex number and the logarithm of a complex number. So, for you that is an engineering student in Uniben, Unilag, or any school, and you are taking this course in your 100 level, you have to be very, very serious about it because you will meet some of these stuff later. 
in advanced courses. So it should be difficult for you then when you are studying them because you have the foundation already. All right, so this should be all summarily. Uh, maybe one or two additions to it by based on the departments, like I've been saying, or the university. So I think this is all I did. Yes, this is all I did in my Mass 101. Yes, that's all. Now that first semester is about to begin, you have to take this content with all seriousness so that you make good grades, good A's and good B's. All right. Now, if you're interested in private classes, yes, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp or via email. Yeah, I think WhatsApp should be faster. Yes, so just reach out to me. You can see my number on the screen. You message me on WhatsApp and I'll give you a reply. In this channel, you also find advanced courses in engineering like uh, Fourier series, vector analysis, we will do grad and dive and cure, and a lot of other courses, numerical analysis, Gaussian elimination method, and so on. Just scroll down the channel and list, you will see those videos. Okay, uh, yes, I take Zoras for those courses. So I take Zoras for courses in Maths 101, Maths 102, Maths 103. And if you are interested in higher courses also, maybe in 20 level and 300 level, you can send me a WhatsApp message also and we'll pick it up from there. All right. If there is any addition you want us to make, because my videos will be on this content actually. Yeah, so if there's any addition that is not here that you want me to also treat on this channel, you are free to also send me a message. Yes, and I'll consider it. Yeah, so I can satisfy your curiosity. Trust me. This playlist on algebra and trigonometry MTH 101 is a short guide for you as a 100 level student. Alright? Stay tuned for more videos. I am the complex analyzer and I will guide you as much as is possible through this MTH 101 journey and even beyond this. Alright? So, we we'll pick it up from here. Subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends and to your course mates. Let this video go far, let it go wide, let it go viral to as many students, 100 level students that we have in Nigeria universities. Let them be aware of what they are going to study in this particular course. Await other videos, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to get updated whenever videos come up in this channel. I remain your favorite master tutor. See you in the next video.